I'm just getting over a cold, so hopefully I won't have uh, too much of a tickle happening today, but um, I did this morning, so we'll see how this goes. Um, so today, as Cecilia mentioned, we're going to be looking at increasing productivity and accountability using the task functionality in Tatango. Um, just a few slides here if you're familiar with me and have joined our other webinars. I'm a customer success manager. I've been with Tatango about six months and in the account management and customer success space for about 10 years. Um, on the TADA list today, um, we'll look at not only a quick overview of just creating tasks, but also scheduling tasks, whether that's for yourself or for your team. We'll also look at um, pulling lists and reports um, to look at the task completion, um, what accounts have open tasks, and then also just quickly at the end, um, I will show our support.tatango.com page which does provide you information on how to sync tasks back to Salesforce if you are an organization that is using Salesforce. So with that, I am going to pause my screen real quick and we will jump into the demo. So here within our demo account, um, if you are not familiar, there are several ways that you can create tasks. Um, you can create a task from within the actual account profile or the account scorecard. From the home page here in the My Portfolio section, um, I can click on the little blue circle with the little lines in it to add a task. So I can just quickly say, let's just follow up with this account. I'll assign it to myself and then put a to-do date um, of, let's say, next week and then I'll add that task for myself. We should then see that the number of tasks increase from six to seven in here. Um, we can also, like I said, do it within the account. Um, I can then open my account information, just kind of a preview window here, and I can see any tasks that have been created for this account. So just a really quick overview of how to actually create these tasks. Um, if I am wanting to see the tasks that I have created for myself or however I have my portfolio configured, maybe if I'm a manager or director, um, my portfolio is configured for my entire team. I can see how many open tasks there are, and then this little four here shows me how many tasks are actually overdue. So I have not completed that task, um, and the date has now passed. I'm going to quickly click on the task tab here. We can see that I have seven total tasks. Down below, I can see at first the tasks that are overdue. Um, obviously, this is not my real working instance. I do not have overdue tasks. <laughs> but we can see that these tasks have been scheduled quite some time ago and had not been completed. Um, I can either edit the task or I can complete the task. And then down below, we can see the tasks that are, um, aren't overdue or due today, but are due in the next coming days or weeks. I can sort up top by this view. So right now, I'm viewing my open tasks. I can also click on my completed tasks, and I can see um, when I completed that task, the account that it's associated to. And then if I am in charge of assigning tasks to individuals, or if I am a manager or director or maybe a team lead, I can see by choosing the tasks assigned to others what tasks are scheduled. So the topic of that task, the company that it's associated to, and who I actually assigned it to, and when. If I go back to my open task, I get a few more options here managing my own portfolio and my book of business. I can sort these tasks by the health profile, or I'm sorry, the health rank. So if we want to see all of the tasks associated to accounts in good health, average or poor, this is really handy if you think of seeing the accounts that are in poor health. Could have this task been completed? Um, could have could that have affected the health? Could it be increasing the health score, getting them back into you know, good graces based on our health profiles? Um, but really just a way to analyze the tasks and who they're actually assigned to. 
You can also sort by the due date, the priority, or the value. So maybe you want to focus your attention or your team's attention on the tasks that are associated with accounts with a very high value. So maybe those accounts that are paying thousands of dollars, um, you know, those should be addressed first. Also, one thing to keep in mind um, for those on the phone that may not be familiar, um, if you are using success plays, those tasks will show up in here as well. So success plays, for those of you that may not know, will allow you to define criteria. Um, when customers fit that criteria, um, we or success plays can then trigger um, a release of tasks to the responsible party. So if you can envision onboarding has four or five tasks that have to be done, when a customer comes on board, um, those tasks are automatically distributed to the CSM responsible for onboarding them. Those tasks will show up in here as well, and they'll actually be a little tagline below. I don't have any in my demo instance today, I apologize. But it will show that um, this task has been sent via success plays. Um, all the reporting on the task through success plays um, would be available on the success plays tab on the left, the left navigation bar. So moving on from the home section here, the My Portfolio, we'll go into building a list. So if you are, are not familiar, um, we can go in and create an account list. And I am actually going to, we can see here, I, I actually was playing around with it a little bit earlier, and we have some predefined information that I built as the filter. So I am now looking at accounts that are paying and have at least one task that's overdue. So here we can see the account name, it's a paying account, and the number of overdue tasks. So when I come in here and edit this, Let's show all paying accounts. And what I'm going to do next is actually edit these columns to show me more information around the task. So I'm going to edit the columns. And we can see under tasks, we can see there is about six options here to add with information into our list. So we can say, show me the number of open tasks, maybe tasks due in the next seven days and completed tasks. So if I want to edit any of the time range, I can come up here. We could always change this to seven days or 14 days. We'll leave it there. account that your team manages. Um, if I'm a CSM, I can always click this button here and it will show me just my account. So we'll switch to this My button and that will show me all the accounts that are assigned to me. I have 23 accounts that have either overdue or open tasks or tasks pending in the next couple weeks with a dollar value of just under $400,000. So from here I can see I have a certain number, I have three overdue tasks, I have four open tasks, and then how many are scheduled in the following days. Again, coming back in here um, from the first view that we looked at, I was just now showing you all of the paying accounts. But let's say we want to show um, all of the paying accounts with the overdue tasks. Let me go back and show that. I'm going to turn off the my, so oh, we're still going to get one. So let's say, um, for sake of not having to log in and look at this list every day, I can, if you're familiar with lists, you can create the custom um, triggers. So you can be notified when you have an account that has at least three overview tasks. Or maybe it's just one task. You want to be notified of that. Maybe it's yourself. Maybe it's setting this up for each of your CSMs. So I can come in here and click edit the list trigger, or <clears throat> excuse me, 
So we can do notify me by email when somebody fits that criteria, a paying account and they have overdue tax. So now I will get a notification when any account fits that criteria. Maybe there's also things like adding the tag, um, you know, maybe if it's an account, maybe we build um, more granular criteria and say, you know, overdue tasks that are in poor health and have a renewal date in the next 90 days. Obviously, you want to be notified right away when an account is up for renewal and in poor health, but then also maybe has activities that need to be completed that have not been completed. So your CSM is really helping them maintain their productivity and knowing that they are completing the tasks associated with onboarding, renewal conversations, whatever it may be. So I'll click OK here. And then if I save the list, once I save the list, it's going to allow me to turn on that trigger. So now any account that is a paying account and has at least three overdue tasks, I will get an email notification when any account fits that criteria. Um, with that, I think that's probably most of the task reporting. Um, so just a little refresher, you can um, manage your tasks and view the tasks for your team um, under the task tab. Um, several different drop-downs allowing you to sort by contract value, the date, priority level, um, also sort by the health, um, and also being able to see the tasks that are associated to yourself, your completed tasks, or any tasks that you have assigned to others. Um, I did quickly mention in the beginning that um, tasks now, task and touch points now actually sync to Salesforce. So if you are a customer of ours that is also using Salesforce, definitely reach out to your customer success manager um, and ask for either additional information or we do have the instructions and a quick overview of what that will look like in Salesforce um, at support.tatango.com. There is a step-by-step -step guide here on how to I think it's just two simple steps to get the tasks and touch points synced back into Salesforce. Um, but definitely reach out to your CSM if you have any questions there. And then just real quickly to mention again the success plays that I mentioned um, earlier. If you're an account of ours that um, is, has not been aware of success plays or is having to manually create tasks for any of your customer success processes, definitely reach out to your CSM as well. Um, and also on our website, there's a lot of information about success plays, which will allow you to streamline and automate the task creation. So Cecilia, I'll hand it back over to you as a pretty quick demo today um, for any questions that we may have coming in. Thanks, Sarah, and thank you. Um, so we do have a question that came in. So someone's asking if somebody hasn't completed a task for their account base in the last 14 days, does that mean that they haven't done any work or are they just simply not leveraging the system? So with PAP, there is either the open or closed functionality. Right now, there is not a pending or a working option. Um, I would strongly suggest recommending to um, update or enter in um, touch points into the timeline so that they are aware if the manager looks at the account and says they have three overdue tasks, they can actually see these conversations and the communication that's happening with the customer. Um, the CSM should be getting notified um, every day with the daily digest from Tatango that they do have overdue tasks, um, but there could definitely be some work happening in the background. Thanks. Um, so that's all the questions we had. Uh, if you have any questions after the webinar, please feel free to reach out to us. And we look forward to seeing you again in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much for attending and have a great day. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.